week of November. In this week, each year group research, explored and learned about water. For example, in year two, they spent a whole day without using water from a tap. They had an art lesson painting with no water. They had to take turns, taking take turns getting buckets of water from the toilet sink. Yeah. We explore the held discussion on how too much water can be taken for granted. Mrs. Hubbard held a key stage to assembly where she showed media of how water is scarce in Africa. She reminded students about not wasting water. Year 3 students decided to do some investigations locally within the school. Let's go and talk to them about what they did. Hello, can you tell me about the water cup poster competition? Um, we hanged up posters so people wouldn't uh, waste a paper cup because, uh, because trees will chop down and trees will chop down. Other ways the water challenge was promoted in our school community was through our internal marketing and communication resources, such as displays, newsletters, and online website blogs. We also decided to link our challenge with the local community. We found a water-based charity in Beijing, China called Thirst. We asked them if they would like to help us raise money for their charity. Of course they agreed. We set up the stall at our Christmas fair. We wanted to show the VAA of being concerned for society both globally and locally. We feel helping a local charity raise money was one way to do this. It also helped raise their money in the school community. Introducing the Water Challenge project to the school and local community, we then began our project work. Students in years 4, 5, and 6 began their research using research tools and laptops, iPads, and cameras. We searched online in books and through our own discussions in topics. We then began to compile our information. We formed groups to show team and work collaboration. We came up with our own ideas on what to research and how. We discussed and decided which issue our groups would choose. We allocated roles within the groups and then managed our time through our science and topic lessons. Interesting method of research was taken in by year four. Students decided to write the local British embassy and ask them some questions about water. Let's talk to our year four students to explain. Of Beijing. Dear Saffron and Alexandra, thank you for writing. I am pleased that you are taking an inserted in global water problems. Yes, Britain has water problems, just like all countries. Some summers it does not rain enough, and we have to have house pipe bans to stop people watering their gardens and washing their cars, cars so that we all have enough water to drink and sometimes it rains too much, more than the rivers and sewers can cope with. And throughout the Global Classroom Water Issue Week Water Fun activities, we conducted to educate students about water and how important it is, and nursery teachers and students exploring how water flows and use water in their play and do activities. In year five and six, Students researched how water in under crisis in third world countries such as Africa. As a part of homework, students had to create a presentation on a charity organization that supported those countries in need. Some particular organizations we found that were doing excellent work were Water Aid, Charity Water and Hardwood Charity. This information and research was then shared in a second whole school assembly, where the year six Eagles share research was then shared in a second whole assemb school assembly, where the year six Eagles shared these websites. A big hit was when we introduced World Toilet Day. We showed the Louis the Toilet song and the whole school erupted with laughter. 
especially the little ones. We thought this was a fun way to highlight global global water issues and capture the attention of the young challenge has been happening now for three months. During that time, groups have been busy following the drop by drop guide. Here you can see evidence of groups in year four, five and six working on their project. Let's talk to some students in year four and five about their models. Students have also been compiling their work into multimedia presentation. Here you can see students busy at Our project is called TLW1 slash ASR. It stands for Too Little Water 1 slash Africa. It is a system of underground pipes from the sea to a filtration plant also on the ground. Then the water has to go through some more pipes to get to the factory where the thir each 30 litres is inspected. Then the water gets pumped to trucks and gets sent away to Djibouti to go. This is the whole of Africa and this is Madagascar. There's a filtration plant here, 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 here and here. All the bases are where the bees are. Here, 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 here and here. The main base is down in the Kalahari Desert here. At the filtration system, it gets filtered and loaded into trucks. Then when it gets to the base, it gets unloaded <coughs> and handed out to the... Um, Steve, <coughs> what are you looking at? Are these some water treatment machines or pumps? I think this is one where we can bend. So you're just at the stage of looking at what the possible solutions are. What website is this? Yeah, Charity Water. Someone in my class showed us this website as well. Well done. I spoke to Mrs. McGregor and she said that you were going to try and make a life-size model of this and we were thinking of the cubby outside. Yeah. And we were going to like, how we're going to make holes in them, how we're going to well, put a big... Well, that's not the problem because we just need the pipes, like, mm -hmm. yeah, pipes like. So if we'd had had time and the resources and not necessarily think about the holes in the ground, but we could have made a mock-up model around the cubby, we could have put plastic around the bottom and had some plastic pipes to represent what you're doing. So it could have been possible, but we just found that restrictions of China and getting the equipment and the resources and digging into the ground was just not possible. But we liked the thinking, and you were thinking on the next step. So that was great. The Watch Challenge well done, has taught us many things. It has shown that we can learn things in different ways using different skills. We have used many aspects of high-performance learning. We have used collaboration by working together, creativity, and interpreting and our designing of our models. We have been open-minded and concerned for society by involving people across the whole school and the local community. We have also tried to be original and revolutionary in what our challenge multimedia. Is a, a challenge. But it has been a fun challenge where we have learned about important global issues, where we have worked together as a team and supported each other by showing perseverance and collaboration. And it has also taught us to be global learners, to inquire about things that are important to us in our environment. 